All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're demoing a couple of dozers. We're thinking about buying a new dozer, uh, 100, around 100, 105 horsepower machine. Uh, we're demoing the Cat new series D3. We got a Komatsu uh, D39PX. We're, uh, we're die hard cat, uh, but we also got Komatsu Trico and like it real well, so we decided we'd demo a Komatsu. Um, don't know. talk about these dozers for a minute i'm fixing to go on this komatsu and run it some more um but uh komatsu dislikes to me it just looks a little different which ain't a big deal but just just different takes some getting used to uh blade the blade is quite a bit smaller than the d3 5 whatever you want to call this 
sheen. It's not as wide and definitely not as tall. I'm not really choked up about that. And I do, the only other complaint I got is I do not like the joysticks not being adjustable. To me, I just can't get right. They're just a little bit too tall for me. Yep, if I raise my seat up where they feel good, uh, setting up too high for what I like. Uh, on the cat, about the only complaint I got is I don't like the number change. I just screwed everything up. Now, if we end up buying this machine, well, not this machine, but buy Dozer, a cat this size, it'll be a D3. That's going to mess everybody up. Operators, you know, we got a D5K, D6K, D6N, and a D3G. Now, if we get another one, we'll have a D3. That's, you know, basically a D5, an old D5. So I have to make sure I explain myself. I tell the operator to go get on the D3. Make sure I tell him which one. We send the low boy guy after one. <laughs> They're both on the same job. Got to make sure we tell him get the new D3, the big D3, or get the D3G. You know, I wish Cat would have left the left it like they'd had it for all these years, and if they wanted to go from a K series, just add a different letter. All right, guys, let's get on this Komatsu and run this for a minute. You know, uh, Komatsu is a good machine. We got a track row. We love it. Uh, first started out like Komatsu. Our dealer support was a little shaky. We went through a, From the time we started looking at buying the machine to the time we actually bought it, we dealt with three different salesmen. That was a little odd, you know. But the salesman we got now, he's been there several years. We bought uh, a few things through him now, and uh, he makes he makes it where it's we still consider come out. So if he wasn't there, just because of dealer support, uh, we probably wouldn't. I mean, there the dealer, the Komatsu dealer is about an hour from us. Our cat dealer has got a store in our town and stores all over the state. I, so that helps out a lot. But, uh, all right, I'm gonna push this a little dirt real quick here. Just, and, uh, we're trying to decide. We're looking hard at Komatsu. Looking, of course, we got Cat. You know, you can cut me, I'm gonna bleed Cat Yala. But, you know, I wanna give Komatsu a fair shake. So, let's push a little dirt with old Komatsu, shall we?
I think they're going to come get this machine, the Komatsu, tomorrow. I think we're going to run the cat a little bit longer. This Komatsu is a 19 model. This is, neither one of these machines will be the machines we end up with. These are just demo machines, but that's a 19 model. It's got like 700 hours on it. It's a brand spanking new one. It had four hours on it when they unloaded it off the trailer. Um, this is a machine that's in their rental fleet. They brought it out for its demo. But uh, supposedly there's not nothing different between the 19 and the 21 model that we'll actually be getting. Of course, this is a 21 model. So, but I don't know. Um, some of y'all in the comments, let me know. I know there's some diehard Komatsu fans out there. Of course, there's plenty of people like me that bleed cat yellow. So, some of y'all in the comments, let me know. I guess y'all stay tuned. We'll see what we come up with what we decide to buy and uh and we're also uh trying to side on gps we run top con and trimble both uh got top con on a dozer got trimble on a dozer run top con on a grader we're looking at both systems again uh trying to decide what to do uh of course i don't know what it's like other parts of the country but uh price wise these machines there ain't a whole lot of difference in them um gps wise there ain't a whole lot of price difference in it it basically comes down to the machine and your dealer support so all right guys uh y'all stay tuned uh, i'll let y'all know what we come up with in a few days or a week or so but uh, appreciate y'all watching be sure and subscribe if you haven't already and if you like what you see give me a thumbs up until next time guys y'all take it easy